Hey everybody, uh, sorry it's been a while. I'm not the uh, most motivated or driven person out there, but I suppose it's an integral part of man's nature to constantly be trying to change his nature, so we move forward. So today I want to talk about escapisms and practice and uh, so forth. So I think it's very important to be aware of what your escapisms are. Um, I don't think escapisms are intrinsically bad, but you want to be aware of them, at least. Um, you know, in escapisms or anything, television, relationships, video games, surfing the internet, anything in which you pull yourself out of reality, escape from reality. Uh, now, practices, on the other hand, immerse you in reality. They can be the same thing, in a sense. There's something that you do for the sake of doing it, right? Practicing languages, instruments, so forth. When you practice something, the, the practice itself is is the goal, right? It's the journey, it's the climb, as, uh, as the great philosopher uh, Miley Cyrus once said. I also uh, group practice with meditations, right? You have anything and everything can be a meditation, from eating, you know, working out, sitting there, hanging out with somebody. It can all be meditations. It's just a level of mindfulness, a level of being in the present. These can be the same thing. The escapes and practice can be the same thing. Take uh, reading, for instance, right? You have your reading to remove you from the world, and you have your reading to build you up, give you knowledge, etc., etc. Now, um, I think the goal, the idea here, is when you start becoming aware of what practices you have and what escapisms you have is to turn escapisms over into practice. It just depends on how mindful you are. It's like the level of mindfulness that you put into it is really where the line's at. Now you don't have to get rid of all your escapisms. I, sure, I, I certainly have a fair amount of escapisms. I love playing video games and you know I read my sci-fi and you know some comic books here and there. Um, but really, I have to be aware of what I'm doing and how much time I'm investing in that. I would challenge you to take a look at that. The same thing with relationships, too. I think relationships are also a big one here. You have relationships that you just escape into and relationships that you practice. And there's nothing wrong with escaping into a relationship, but um, at some point in time, you can no longer escape into that relationship. If you're used to escaping, then it becomes useless and you lose a relationship or it can't grow fully into what it could be if you put the hard work and grounding of reality. Now we may run into this issue of, well, we want to escape from reality because this reality is absolute shit, right? Who wants to live into this world? So if you have uh, any sort of desire of grounding yourself in reality, of practice, of building a better reality for yourself, start small. Start with baby steps, start with meditation, start with, uh, you know, being in the moment, at least being in some moment, picking, you know, one one hour every few days, right? One hour a week, an hour a day, doing something that you enjoy doing or something that's peaceful, something where you're away from the stress and the chaos and just being grounded into that moment. And there's dozens of meditations you can look up. If you uh, read, if you play an instrument, if you uh, are just spending time with a significant other, just try to um, try to really be there. And then you're going to realize that you start turning things into practice. Now, practice practices take work, they take energy, you know, mental and physical energy, but really practices build. They build into bigger and better things. I would strongly encourage all of you to look into that, to look into what what habits you have, what things you do throughout your day that can be turned into practices and meditations. So that's going to be about it today, and uh, I'm going to start making some videos of the questions you guys have now. So uh, hopefully this video has helped you in some way, and I will talk to you guys later. Peace out.